COVID-19 has exposed the vulnerability of the food systems in Southeast Asia. There are many challenges. First, there is an increased food insecurity, particularly for the poor, women, and to those who lo have lost their job. Second, there is a disruption in the food supply chain because of the checkpoints and also because of the difficulties in people movement. Third, there is a changing demand. People now tend to eat at home. They want to buy from local markets. And finally, they also want to ensure that the food that they eat are healthy food. It is very important to have a thorough understanding on how governments and other stakeholders respond to COVID-19 pandemics. At ERI, we are doing research globally and at country level to understand how COVID-19 impacts to these vulnerable groups, particularly women, the poor people, and those who have lost their job. Second, we also need to understand how e-agriculture can support, address various challenges that are presented by the COVID pandemic. Third, we also need to understand to what extent we can engage in local economy, particularly in supporting small and medium enterprises. There are huge problems that we are facing because of the pandemics, but at the same time, the pandemics also present an opportunity to revisit our food systems, particularly here in Southeast Asia. The World Food Day presents a unique opportunity for all of us to reflect about the future food system that we want. The key question is, how can we build a more resilient food systems in the future? Music